him to be released on bail. Chapter 4, Section 39 of the Nigerian Constitution says that every person shall be entitled to freedom of expression, including freedom to hold opinions and to receive and impart ideas and information without interference. I therefore call upon the President of Nigeria, Mohamedou Buhari, to uphold his country's constitution, to ensure Namdi Kanu's immediate and safe release. As the Nigerian government must guarantee the freedom of expression of all Nigerian citizens, including their right to protest without intimidation and end violence towards those who identify as Biafran. And I call on my colleagues here in the European Parliament to do much more to promote human rights in Nigeria. Honorable Boylan. Hello, great people. Hello, great people. My great people, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, my great people all over the world. You are welcome once again on IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazin Nambikano, where we always set the record straight. My name is uh, Mazo Kenna Kichuku, known as the Biafran Child Wachineke, the General. My great people, you have listened. I want you people to understand that all these things that we have been doing, the international community are beginning to feel and understand the pains that we are passing through in that contraption called Damini Buzu. I want you people to understand that the European Parliament, you hold it by yourself. If you people haven't forgotten, we made history. We made history. Last time we went to Brussels. We went to Brussels June 14th and 15th. And that was history. We made a history. And today it begins to yield a good fruit. Now the people from European Parliament are now beginning to talk about the Biafran people, the freedom of expression, the free speech, and they also call the Nigerian government to free the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, Mazen Namdekano. This is direct from European Parliament. I hope every one of us see it that is why I'm trying to bring this out to our people so that you begin to understand that we are doing our best to make sure that people of Africa begin to live as a woman. I keep on telling my people, the reason why they keep on seeing you as animal is because you depend on them. You depend on Europeans. You depend on America. Everything that happens to you, you call on them. You don't want to stand on your own to prove them that you can be able to govern yourself. You can be able to make things out of your land. That is the reason why these people can never take you as anybody. That is why today they keep on seeing us as we are nobody because Everything of Africa, you depend on them. That is why we are doing all our best to make sure that Biafra comes so that Africa will begin to contribute to the GDP of the world. When you begin to contribute to the GDP, that is when Europeans and America will begin to see you as a woman. You contribute nothing. They always help you. When you have a problem, you call them for relief. This is the problem. They don't see you as nobody. But as we are moving on this Biafran restoration project, by the time we restore our land, Africa will be great. Believe you me, Africa will be great. Any place that you go, they will take you as somebody. But I want you people to understand that on this June 14 and 15 that we went to Brussels, they are now beginning to talk about the Biafran restoration. 
the way being of Biafran people, they have begun to understand that we are passing through a lot of persecution in that contraction called Damini Buzu. I keep on telling you, the great people of Biafra, a new generation of Yoruba Odudua. If we don't cease Nigeria to exist, the killings will keep on going on. If Nigeria, if we don't disintegrate that contraption, these killings of jihadism, Wahhabism, terrorist group coming from Sahel, they will keep on massacring people. They will keep on killing and maiming and destruction because these people are not part of you. They are just coming with what they call conquest. They are coming with what they call holy war. Conquest means holy war. In this Islamist Wahhabism, they call it holy war. And they say that this is the war that they must fight. I'm bringing this to you people so that you can be able to reason and understand what we are saying. But now there's something, that, there's one thing that I just want to tell you, my people. I know that you people will be shocked. Remember that this idiot that is from Finland, when we were planning to go this Belgium, this guy come out on broadcast, begin to tell you people that that IPOB have planned to assassinate people that are going to come under protest, that you shouldn't eat the food from there, that you should not drink any water from there, because this guy don't want to, you know, embrace good news or good development how we can be able to achieve the Biafran nation, our goal. They is, 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 this guy is in subordination. Now, the European Parliament are beginning to talk because of who we were there. We submitted our problem to them. We tell them our story. Now they begin to talk about it. We Simon Eba in Finland, you know, remember, after we went to this Belgium in Brussels, in the European Parliament, Simon Eber concocted a story going out, I don't know who is he met on the street, the exchange envelope. Simon Eber with the gullible people came out, begin to tell us that the Finland government have supported Biafran restoration. We ask them, which agreement, which treaty do you people sign? Can you begin to tell us who and who was there when you people were signing all this thing? What did you people offer to Finland people? Why Simon Eber is there claiming that what he went to do in Finland government is yielding a good fruit? Up to date, we never heard any update from Finland government. But today, you are hearing update from Brussels that we went in European Parliament. They are now discussing about Biafra in European Parliament. I don't want to say too much, but I want you people to understand this. Some of you that I keep on following Simon, sheepishly, and some of you that are gullible one, that are still believing on that idiot, a lunatic called Simon.